Hello, I'm Randy here, and we're playing Farming Simulator 17 on Sos Novka on the R.D. Allen multiplayer server. And we are joined on the server at the moment by... Uh, we got Chris, Brent, Dura... Rentis, uh, Big Tom, and Logan. And as you folks may have guessed, we are working on some silage here again. Well, that reminds me, folks, I do need to show you the, uh, the BGA here. Uh, picking up some grass here at the moment. Uh, still using the Hurleyman here and the small loading wagon. Uh, we have upgraded our equipment slightly. We do have a larger tractor. Uh, the Vultra, I forget what series Vultra it is again. Uh, with the triple mower setup. Using that tractor pretty much for the uh, mowing and just the Hurleymans here running around with the uh, loading wagons picking up the grass. Makes uh, picking up the grass here a little bit quicker. But yes, it definitely is still taking us quite a bit of time here on the uh, server to uh, progress. Like I was saying in my uh, previous videos here, definitely seems like hard mode in uh, Farming Simulator 17 is definitely a lot harder than uh, 15 was. Okay, just bunk out all those little uh, bits and pieces here. And we have been doing some uh, logging here on the server as well. Uh, pretty much been uh, splitting the time there between uh, you know farming, logging, and uh, silage work here for the BGA. And like I said, I'll show you folks here the uh, BGA. Uh, we're not actually, from the looks of it, filling up the BG at the moment, working on one of the other uh, silage bunkers spread throughout the map. Uh, it looks like it, uh, from what I can tell, folks, looks like when they uh, made Sos Novka here for Farming Series 17, they made a little uh, mistake. Uh, back on uh, Sos Novka for Farming Simulator 15, the Gold Edition, all the little green markers, those used to be grass cell points, so like up by Field 9, there's one down by the spinnery there. And one by field 28. I think, is it just three? Yeah, I think there's just three of them from the looks of it. Those used to be uh, grass cell points in uh, 15. They are now silage pits here in Farming Simulator 17. I'm guessing that was probably a mistake. I'm not sure. Not really sure why you'd want uh, all these you know, silage pits kind of just spread out randomly through the map like that. Oh, we're just about full. There we go. Okay. We'll go empty this minute, and then we'll come back and uh, whoa, take a look at the uh, silage bunkers here. And yeah, these tractors are just probably a little bit on the small side for these loading wagons. They work. But that's about it. Uh, looks like we got uh, Logan working the bunker here. Definitely something you almost have to do when uh, doing silage now in Farming Center 17. You can't just go into the bunker and dump it. A lot more on the uh, dynamic fill planes here in the bunkers. And for emptying grass in the bunkers, folks, it's not as simple as just, you know, push and dump anymore. In fact, I think if you look at the list here... Oh, it does tell you. Left control I. Okay, so it does actually tell you what uh, ones you got to push here. So it is left control and I. So you're basically dumping anywhere. I'm trying to keep it moving there so I don't end up with a big bump we can't get over. Also, a reminder too, I'll show you folks here. Uh, you want to make sure you close your loading wagon when you're done dumping because it does not automatically close anymore. So if you leave it open, and I'll just show you folks this, I do I do know it's open. Uh, if you pick, uh, why is it not picking up the grass? Should be picking up the grass. Okay, that's kind of weird. Normally it'll pick up the grass. Let me try somewhere else here. And it'll just uh, dump it right back out the end of the loading wagon. Don't know if I really want to do it over here because I don't really want to make a mess, but... Uh, 
yeah, there it's picking it up. So you can see right behind it, it's just dumping it right back out. So yes, make sure you close your uh, loading wagon when you're uh, doing something like this. Make sure we uh, pick that up here a moment. And yeah, like I said, it just makes a mess when you do something like that, so... Okay, we got our mess uh, cleaned up mostly. And we'll head back to uh, where we were picking up the grass. Looks like there was a little bit left there yet. And then I'm not sure who's doing the mowing, but uh, looks like maybe we'll start over here next. I don't know why I can't pick that up. That's weird. Okay, there we go. And like I said, we get back to the uh, BGA here. I'll show you folks the uh, current status of the uh, biogas plant. We've got it uh, just slightly on the full side. Now, I don't know how much is actually in the uh, BGA here. Last time I seen it, uh, we were probably looking at close to six, seven million worth of chaff in there. Uh, soon to be silage. Which I know that probably sounds like a lot, but when you probably factor in the uh, price of the silage, it's probably not so good. Uh, you know what, let's look at the price of silage here a moment. So let's see, silage at the uh, biogas plant is... Really, is that manure? You can actually sell manure and slurry at the biogas plant? Interesting, I did not know that. Okay, so, so oh, it's actually not too bad at the moment, 309. Uh, the problem with that is the price, like I said, doesn't look too bad at the moment. Uh, by the time we start selling it, it's going to go way down. So that uh, six, seven million worth of silage by the time we're all said and done. Uh, we might be doing pretty good once we uh, start selling it, but some are probably between uh, you know half and one million dollars. Whereas yeah, previous versions of the game here, Farming Center 15 or even 13 or that you could really make bank on the uh, silage here so anyway this is the uh, there are five bunkers here on the Sos Novka map and like I said as you can see they are kind of full especially the uh, first two here they're like completely full actually there, there is no really fill level with the bunkers anymore you can pretty much just pack them full at least until you can stop putting any more in so like I said last time I seen I think this one had like one and a half million somewhere in there I think this one was like one and a half million as well. I'd like to say this bunker was somewhere around a million. Because this one was like one and a half too, and that one was like one million or something like that, I think. Like I said, that's the last time I seen the numbers on the bunkers here anyway, so. Also, for some reason, you get like these little weird squares. I don't know what's up with that. If you look around here, there's like here as well, and there's another one. Probably another one. Probably between the wall here, but there's another one. Uh, that is one issue we've noticed here in Farming Center 17. Um, it does seem like chaff and silage gets stuck in the walls uh, in the bunkers here. Definitely less than ideal. Now there is a uh, clean-out tool roller thing. I believe I've added it on the server. It's not active yet, uh, which is something I should probably mention, folks. In the next, uh, maybe after I'm done recording this, uh, we got several mods on the server here we want to activate. So uh, for those of you that are joining us on the multiplayer server, uh, there will probably be some more mods on the server here very shortly. So let's see, is it under miscellaneous maybe? Yes, yeah, Lizard Roller. Uh, I think it looks very similar to this. Actually, it might be the same thing, like a Lizard Roller, just uh, for removing chaff and silage in the walls, to my understanding. Anyway, won't be dumping any uh, chaff in this Pile gas. So we'll go back to the other bunker there. We're almost full again as well. 
But yes, just a reminder again, for those of you who would like to join us on the multiplayer server here, anyone is uh, welcome to join as long as you uh, play nicely. Uh, links you need to download the mods needed are in the description below. Uh, the first download link should download all the mods needed to join the server. And the second download link will take you to the server download page where you can download the mods individually. And like I said, folks, uh, we currently just have the GPS mod on here. But probably in the next little bit here, we'll be adding some more mods. Uh, we've added a bunch of the uh, farming simulator mods from the uh, farming simulator mod hub. So we'll probably be acting, activating those uh, fairly quickly here. I believe I have them all uploaded to the server here at the moment. Just need to uh, pretty much activate them at this point. And kind of like what I was saying before, I haven't really gotten in a big hurry activating them because we really don't have much money on the server at this point to really buy anything. So, other than maybe if we want to buy like some more small cultivators and planters or something like that, which, yeah, I guess we could do, but. And again, make sure you uh, close the loading wagon when you're done unloading. Very important. We've definitely had a, a few accidents on the server here from uh, not closing our loading wagons. Uh, myself included, I have forgotten to do it as well, like a time or two. It's not so bad when you're like zoomed out the view I have right now so I can actually oh it's open I need to stop and close it but uh, sometimes you know if I'm zoomed in like this or if I'm doing in cab I definitely need to uh, make sure I remember because you know you go up a strip like this and then you turn around it's like oh crap also I should note I've turned on the option for my eye tracker I think this is the uh, second time I've actually had this on uh, currently just using my uh, keyboard here at the moment. Don't have the uh, farming simulator steering wheel on. So I decided to uh, give the eye tracker here a try. Uh, get around to actually getting that set up. So yes, I do have it uh, set up here. So for those of you not familiar with the eye tracker, uh, farming simulator to my knowledge supports two types. It supports the Toby IX, which is what I have. And then it supports the uh, track IR system. Uh, the nice thing about the uh, Toby IX system uh, what I like about it is the fact I don't have to have anything mounted to my head. Uh, with the track IR system, folks, it basically tracks basically an IR sticker on your head. Uh, whether you mount it to your headset or there's even, I guess, a hat version you can wear. That works with the, uh, the track IR system. But the nice thing about the uh, Toby IX, uh, it tracks your eye movement. Which, uh, you know, sometimes is a little bit annoying because, like, if I glance over uh, to look at my recording software, you know, just to make sure everything's looking right, and right away, you know, I'm looking off in that direction, which technically I don't really want to do. Oh, and we're full again. Well, it didn't take long. But as long as, you know, I'm not looking at other screens or doing stuff like that, uh, it works really good, and I really, really like how they've implemented it here in Farming Simulator 17. Um, in third-person view, it does nothing. So I still have to, you know, use my mouse to look around. The uh, eye tracker is deactivated. But if I go to uh, first person, then it's activated. And actually, I'm just going to go back to third person here just so I can empty this here a moment. Just kind of want to watch how much is coming out. So I try to get this as even as I possibly can. Make it better for the uh, next person that's going to come unload in here. Yes, now that I'm back to a first person here, the eye tracker works again. And what I've noticed, it works very rapidly for left and right look. So if I look left and right, it turns very quickly. But if I look up and down, it's like very slow up and down look, which I really like. That was always kind of one of my complaints before. It's like looking up and down. It, I don't really need to look up and down that much. I mean, it's nice that it does look down because sometimes I do want to look down. But typically, I want to look left and right. And it seems like they've really done a nice job here, at least with the uh, Toby IX system. Um, I can't comment on the uh, 
track IR system on how that works because I do not have one of those. But uh, the Toby IX system seems to work really nice. They've done a nice job on how they've implemented it. And I'm hoping they implement a very similar system for American Truck Simulator and Hero Truck Simulator. That would be nice. Uh, if you can get a very similar setup to this, uh, this seems pretty much ideal to me. Now, I've only used it twice so far, folks, so I, I don't want to say too much yet. But from what I've seen so far, I really, really like how they've implemented it here for uh, 17. And as uh, far as I know, it does work with the uh, steering wheel enabled as well. I know for... Uh, Wow, we're full already. Wow, that did not take long at all that time. Uh, for Farming Simulator 15, um, I could not use my uh, Farming Simulator steering wheel and the eye tracker at the same time. Um, I think it was probably just a limitation on Farming Simulator 15 there for its control inputs. But uh, for 17 here, I'm assuming you can use both your steering wheel and the eye tracker at the same time. Now, at least it would seem kind of silly if they didn't allow that, considering they uh, got it built into the game anyway. But yeah, it's really liking how the eye tracker is implemented. And uh, like I said, with the Toby IX system, it just tracks your eyes. So you don't have to have any, like, hat or something mounted on your headset or, you know, stickers on your forehead or anything like that for it to uh, track. Definitely uh, picking up the uh, grass pretty quickly here. Those uh, triple mowers, yeah, really, like you said, make uh, the grass pick up a lot quicker. Anyway, well, I'll read a couple comments here a uh, moment. Uh, Izzy was saying, seems like when you teleport, it turns the equipment off. Ah, so that, I was mentioning that there last episode, folks, on uh, Goldcrest Valley. It seems like sometimes your vehicles shut off when you exit them. And that must be because I'm probably teleporting away from them. That's probably why uh, some of my vehicles are shutting off on me. Um, I've got the uh, manual ignition turned on. Um, it's turned on on both the server here and on uh, my single player game. So it's actually the same on both, which is kind of nice. But yes, I've noticed it. Uh, some of the tractors sometimes shut off. And it's like I could never quite figure out why. So that could be why. That's why when I'm teleporting away. Uh, for example, you know, if I go to the map here and I want to go, you know, visit this place, my tractor will probably shut off, apparently. Avery was saying my name was in the video. Well, good for you. And we are full again. Uh, Steve was saying it looks like you have to do uh, maintenance to your vehicles in uh, Farming Simulator 17. I don't know that there's really a maintenance option, folks. Um, I know there's actually, I think there's a modded placeable or something like that that allows you to uh, repair your vehicles. I don't know there's actually a repair option that's built into the game, though. Not that I'm aware of, anyway. Probably should actually uh, start pulling this bunker here from the other end. Uh, not sure what happened to our loader operator. In fact, I don't even see is the, yeah, I don't even see the loader around here at the moment. Must be off working somewhere somewhere else maybe. But there is a vehicle screen here. Let's see if I can find it. Yes, this is the vehicle overview screen. I'm not entirely sure on how to read this screen yet. I haven't quite figured that all out yet. I know I think this is your uh, vehicle operating cost, which to my understanding, uh, the longer you own the vehicle, the higher it goes, I guess. And then, of course, your vehicle sell price, the longer you own it, the lower the vehicle sell price goes. So... That was a lag spike. Okay, let's see if we can line back up again. Uh, 
Uh, Grant was asking, what is the little time under the big time for? Now, you probably don't see this on a single player because I... Or, sorry. You don't see this on multiplayer here at the moment because I'm on multiplayer and I don't have that mod. But on uh, single player, I've got the uh, real time mod. And basically, all that does is shows the real time. So, whatever your time is. And as far as I know, it takes the uh, computer time. And it just displays it underneath the in-game time. So, it's just kind of a nice little add on there so you can see what uh, time it is. And that's pretty much all it does. Ah, uh, Josh was saying, nice video. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Kyle was saying, I believe the, uh, that is a poop tank injector type. Yes, that is an injector type, uh, poop tank that we were using there last episode. Uh, Zach was saying, I wish they would put in a drivable slurry spreader. Well, if uh, Farming Simulator 17 dent, I'm sure you just wait and uh, Mod Author somewhere will come out with one. Okay, looks like that is all the grass here, so we'll have to head over to... Uh, looks like I'm not entirely sure where it's being mowed at the moment. Or if we even have any more grass mowed here. Looks like we've got quite a bit of the area mowed at the moment. Uh, the pilot penguin was saying every other uh, YouTuber has ha only had the mower on the left. I thought it could only swing to the left. What a relief after watching your video. So yeah, I'm assuming he's talking about the uh, New Holland disc buying there. Still confused as to why I cannot pick this up here. Something definitely weird going on with this uh, grass here. Oh, well. I think, wasn't there some more grass here mowed on the other side? Maybe not. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Oh, yes, there's some more grass mowed over here. See, I know as far as that uh, New Holland disc buying mowers, back in uh, Farming Simulator 15 we had, when we had the uh, MoCos, I've seen a lot of people that uh, didn't seem to know how to uh, use the MoCos properly. And uh, basically in real life when you use those uh, MoCos, uh, same as the New Holland disc buying there, that's now in uh, Farming Simulator 17 here, you basically swing it left or right, you know, depending on what uh, direction you are mowing from. So that way you're not, you know, running over any uh, grass that has not been mowed yet. Now, obviously, the you know, first time around the field, you're going to be running over grass you haven't mowed. Okay, well, it looks like we probably have just a little bit more grass over there that needs to be uh, picked up yet. We can now make it through the bunker without getting stuck here. So I was saying you pretty much need to keep working the bunker there with the front loader and either the silage blade or the silage loading forks there. Try to keep the bunker somewhat level. Otherwise, it pretty much becomes impossible to get in there with the, especially the small tractors anyway, these Hurleymans. I don't know, maybe it's better with a larger tractor, but these Hurleymans really uh, struggle. And you know what, I'm actually going to go up this way, because I don't want to go up the hill. The tractor barely made it up the hill with it, uh, without it running, so...
Okay, there we go. Definitely a little bit of a steep hill there. Uh, Bryce was asking on Farming Expert 2017, which is a Playways farming simulator, by the way. Would you recommend this game? Um, yes, I would. I would definitely uh, recommend Farming Expert 2017. Definitely seems like a good game. Uh, one thing I would say that maybe is not quite as nice about that game, the uh, driving is not as smooth as it is in Farming Simulator 17, but still overall definitely a good game in uh, my opinion anyway. Oh, and we're almost full already. Okay, that did not take long. Definitely looks like a large wind roll there for some reason. Uh, Nash was asking, so after you find all the gold nuggets, you get a lot of money? Yes, you do. After you find all the gold nuggets, and I don't know if it uh, varies between easy, normal, and hard mode, but at least on normal mode, I got $1 million. Anthony was saying, great video. Keep them coming. Uh, Daniel was saying, just want to thank you for uh, showing how to use the non-rotatable plow in the previous episode. Uh, FaZe was saying, nice video. Please reply. How much do we have in this bunker so far? 296,000 in the bunker. Like I could say, I was saying, there's no limit on the uh, bunker capacity. Other than what you can uh, feasibly fit in it. Come on, car. Let's go. Hurry up. Anyway, folks, with that, I think we'll uh, wrap up the episode there. If you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.